While Rafael Nadal was busy celebrating a record eighth French Open title, we were compiling the latest and greatest stories from around the tennis world. Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to the Tennis Now News Update. With his 6-3-6-2-6-3 win over David Ferrer Sunday, Rafael Nadal confirmed what we knew all along. He's just about unbeatable on clay. The final was fairly routine for Nadal until a shirtless man protesting gay marriage charged on the court with a lit flare near the end of the second set. This following an earlier protest in the stands. Though the man and his accomplice were quickly subdued, it was a scary moment for both spectators and players. Despite his win, Nadal actually dropped one spot behind Ferrer to number five in Monday's rankings. Ah, the perils of a seven-month injury layoff. So what do athletes do after a historic win? They go to Disneyland, of course. While we have no word on whether Rafa enjoyed any rides, he did stop for a photo op with Sully of Monsters, Inc. Serena Williams, who won her second French Open title Saturday, a mere 11 years after her first, celebrated in a different way with Jack Daniels, Coke, a cola, and some moe thrown in for good measure. Her hitting partner Sasha Bajan tweeted photos from the Roland Garros locker room following Serena's win over Maria Sharapova. He was nice enough to give us a before and an after. Usain Bolt may have presented Rafa with the French Open trophy, but Serena might have him beat. Beyonce herself posted a handwritten note on her website congratulating Serena for her win, saying among other things, I'm so proud of you. Mike and Bob Bryan also won their second French Open title over the weekend, which is great and all, but possibly more entertaining is this video of Bob's daughter Michaela pledging her loyalty to one parent and one parent only. Yeah. Mama, say mama. mama. <laughs> mama, say mama now. Mama. Do you like mama or do you like dad? <laughs> Who's the better parent? <laughs> In the least shocking news of the week, it appears Roger Federer has started a trend. After his triumphant entry into the Twitter world, more players have followed suit. Thomas Burdich has tweeted nearly 200 times in less than a week of work. For a player we don't see much of off the court, he's certainly making it easy to get to know him via the World Wide Web. He's not only responded to many of his fans, but he's shown a pretty great sense of humor in the process. After Nadal's win, he tweeted, Rafa has new telephone number. You should dial 8636263. Marion Bartoli has also joined the tennis community on Twitter. Rumor has it that she made several practice accounts before coming out with the real thing. A Dutch player currently ranked 1158 in the world has been suspended for six months for betting on tennis matches. Yannick Ebbinghaus admitted to a whopping 67 violations between May of 2012 and February of 2013. And with the French Open over for another year, we're sad to see the Road to Roland Garros videos go. Perhaps our favorite was the episode where players were told Roger Federer was retiring. We'll leave you with that. We just heard that Roger Federer is retiring. What would be your last message to him? Really? No way. Is this a joke? This like this next question? What? When did he say that he's retiring? Who we'll say that? Really? That's what I heard. Wow. I think I need a minute of silence for the Fed. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to say because it's, it he does. makes the history of all our sports. So. How can you describe a person into a history? I mean, it's, it's... That's all for today's Tennis Now News Update. Let us know your thoughts on a weekend of great tennis in the comment section below. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay updated on everything tennis. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.